Robert Bresson is still one of the greatest filmmakers to this day, and in La Jean, he likens our relationship with money to our relationship with God, in contrast to greed and indifference. It becomes a point of dissent when Norbert asks for an advance on his allowance, where his father does not provide. He goes to his friend Marshall for help. Marshall offers him a forged 500 franc note, which they used to buy a picture frame from a camera store. The next scene cuts to the store owner apathetically agreeing to pass off the fake bill, as well as the two others they previously received. Yvonne Taj, modeled by Christian Patey, is portrayed at the start, a working class man absorbed in his husband and fatherly duties. However, it is due to indifference that he is paid in counterfeit bills, as well as the greed of others leading him to do terrible things by the end of this film. As in all of Brisson's films, his character's actions are deliberate. We can see this in the way money is handled. Its weight and texture can almost be felt. With his signature shots, he studies the human hand as a model of intention. Brisson shows us that you can learn about someone just by watching their hands, as Brisson shoots money entirely in close-ups, framing the object as omnipresent, someone like God, where its influences is the results of the actions around as it holds a presence over the film. He positions money as the means of progression, and the ones handling it as its devices. When Yvonne tries to pay for his coffee with the forged bills, they reject it, and he is accused of being a crook. He is taken by the police to redeem himself where the camera store assistant, Lucien, and the owner claim not to know who he is. Yvonne is then taken to court and loses his job, ultimately forcing him to go to greater lengths to earn money for his family when he agrees to be a getaway driver. It does not go his way. Lucien, the camera store assistant, epitomizes greed and indifference through the result of being forced to lie to the police. After stealing money from a sale, he is fired and begins committing identity theft by stealing credit cards. Again, Brisson shows us the corruption of another young man through greed. Lucien is eventually taken to prison, and before attempting to escape, he pleads with Yvonne to come with him as payment for his actions of causing Yvonne's imprisonment. This conversation takes place during Mass. Ironically, Brisson places the priest's recital beneath the prisoner's dialogue. Yvonne refuses, and promises Lucien's death will serve as payment. However, Lucien's escape attempt fails and he is sent to maximum security prison. Yvonne's wife, Elise, leaves after their daughter dies from diphtheria. Yvonne is told through two subsequent letters that do not reach him until after he gets out of 40 days of solitary. He is taunted and provoked by his cellmates and loses all semblance of empathy. When he is released from prison, he murders two hotel owners for their money and immediately spends most of it stating that it gave him pleasure. He begins exhibiting a manic demeanor when he follows a woman home and simply walks in after silently announcing his presence as if death himself. The old woman, modeled by Sylvie Van den Elsen, accepts her unannounced visitor. She is silent, but adeptly goes about her life in servitude to her father, sister, brother-in-law, and nephew. She washes and wrings the clothes, harvests the food, cooks and cleans up after her family. Brisson perfectly describes the psychology of this unloving French family, acting as the spiritual antithesis of Yvonne. She quietly serves and remains indifferent to her treatment. Yvonne antagonizes her in her position, even after she is punished for helping him. It is her acceptance of her position that he can no longer empathize with. Brisson showcases two mistreated souls sharing a moment, stripped of their pride and self-image. These two come to an understanding. In this sequence, neither Brisson's camera nor Yvonne exhibit any sense of personality. Tightly framed shots show us the action of pure greed, a consciousness void of will, ego, or any sense of personality. The film builds to this one inevitable question. An acceptance of her fate. The woman says nothing. Through what we can only assume is guilt, Yvonne gives himself over to the police, where Brisson leaves us with a glimpse of redemption after an explosion of evil created from blameless greed and indifference. We do not see the people's faces as they stare, as if Brisson is saying that we have become blind, deaf, and dumb to the impact we have on the people around us. Hey everyone, I hope you guys liked the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, or maybe even subscribe, or leave a comment below about what you thought. But I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.